Tonight's performance is dedicated to a very special little festival to me on the other side of the world in a tiny, cold, little country town known as Newstead. Because today Newstead does its 2014 words in winter. Yes, winter, because I come from the other side of the world. And my dad horse is putting on an amazing celebration as part of Main Street Wise, and that's the town that let me ride a bicycle in its streets when I was three years old. And so I feel like that town should probably know that I'm here in Paris, the sort of heartthrob of the literary community and reading poetry on a stage here. So thank you, Words in Winter. Thank you, Newstead. I probably won't see you for a while, but thanks for everything. And tonight we're performing just a little bit of Julius Caesar because we got very inspired by the recent um, Macbeth uh, by Shakespeare and Company as part of the Barbell Sand Festival. It was fucking phenomenal. I hope you all got to see it. And my friend Yuanya here will be playing Caesar. <laughs> my friend Joy here will be playing Calpurnia. Yeah, I like And I will be playing Decius fucking Brutus. That's <laughs> 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 Take away. Shall start. <clears throat> Mark Antony shall say I am not well, and for thy humour, I will stay at home. Here's Decius Brutus, he shall tell them so. Uh, Caesar, all hail! Oh, good morrow, worthy Caesar, I am come to fetch you to the Senate House. And you are come in very happy time to bear my greeting to the Senators, and tell them that I will not come today. Cannot is false, and that I dare not, false her. I will not come today. Tell them so, Darius. Say he is sick. Shall Caesar send a line? Have I, have I in conquest stretched mine arm so far to be afraid to tell Greybeard the truth? Decius, go tell them Caesar will not come. Um, uh, <laughs> most, most mighty Caesar. Uh, let me know some cause lest I be uh, loved when I tell them so. The cause is in my will. I will not come. That is enough to satisfy the Senate. But for you, private satisfaction. Because I love you, I will let you know. Caponia here, my wife, stays me at home. She dreamt tonight she saw my stature, which, like a fountain with the hundred spouts, did run pure blood. And many lusty Romans came smiling and did bathe their hands in it. And these does she apply for warnings and potents and evils imminent, and not her knee has that I will stay at home today. Uh, the dream is uh, misinterpreted. Mm. Uh, it was a vision, fair and fortunate. Your statue, spouting uh, blood in many pipes. Some smiling Romans did they um, uh, signifies that from you great Rome shall struck reviving blood. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and great men shall press for tinct tinctures, stains, relics, and cognizance. Yes. By this Calpurnia's dream is signified. And this way have you well expounded it. Exactly. I have, when you've heard what I can say, and know it now, the Senate have concluded to give this day a crown to mighty Caesar. If you send them word, you will come. There might some change. Besides, it were a mock ab to be rendered for someone to say, break up the Senate till another time when Caesar's wife shall meet his better drink. If Caesar hide himself, shall they not whisper, Lo, Caesar is afraid. Uh, pardon me, Caesar, <laughs> for my dear, dear love, for our preceding bids to tell you this and reason to my love is liable. How foolish is your fear seem now, Capernia? I'm ashamed I did yield to them. Give me my robe, for I will go. Sing. <laughs> 